Well, I've had an amazing day up here near Ealing, Cambridgeshire, up on the River Lark. Beautiful day and a stunning mooring. And the reason I'm showing you this is because the mooring is available with the sale of this boat if you want it. It has power and water. It's very rural. There are otters, kingfishers, cuckoos, owls, the lot. It's a veritable nature reserve here. Here she comes. She's called Wide Awake. She's 60 feet long, 12 feet wide, built by Collingwood in 2012. And she's been in the hands of the same owner since she was launched. And she's been loved above and beyond, actually. She's been so well looked after. At launch, she was grip blasted and cold galvanised on the hull before being blacked. And in 2019, September just last year, she had three coats of high build vinyl applied to the hull, which is good for eight years. She's been serviced every year despite her low engine hours. Four new anodes last year. The roof this year was taken back to metal, rust treated with zinc primer and repainted, as were the front and back decks actually. And she's in immaculate condition both inside and out. The gas bottles are in the forward locker there. Lovely well deck. There's no bow thruster on board at the moment, but there is a tube and the electrics are all there if you wanted. It's a very light boat, good sized portholes here. And here's the mooring, I'm just trying to give you a flavour of it. It's um, half an hour from Cambridge this mooring, and probably about 15 minutes from Ely itself. The river itself is gin clear, you can see all the fish. And it's double A rated, whatever that means, you can swim in it, and people do. Engines under the deck boards here, super large stern deck, it's seven feet long. There are the navigation controls, two good comfy seats on the back deck. Pram hood over this back deck and there are LED lights all around these, these frames. There's the view from the helmsman's position. Such a good social area this and we're going to have a look in the engine room. The engine itself is a canal line 52, super powerful, very good for the rivers and so clean in here you could eat your dinner off it. Batteries at the top of the screen. Only a thousand hours on the clock. There's the calorifier, hot water tank. Hot water, by the way, is heated by the engine, the Robasto diesel central heating system, or a 2.7 kilowatt fast heat immersion heater if you're on a landline. There's a lot to show you in this boat. Two lockers either side of the decks here, they're just for storage. And down we go. She's fitted out an American light oak the cabin sides and under the gunnels, painted tongue, tongue and groove um, on the ceiling. That was the electrics in there. There's the inverter, three and a half kilowatts, a super powerful Sterling Pro Combi inverter charger. And you go down into the master bedroom. Huge bed, six and a half feet long, four feet six wide, storage underneath. There are wardrobes everywhere in this uh, in this bedroom. The boat is currently lived on, so you will see things in cupboards. But it's important to get a flavour for just how much space there is on this boat. Good sized television there, opposite the bed. That's a smart television, they both are. It's 32 inch. Here's the exploding sock drawer. Three very good sized drawers underneath. Drawers at the foot of the bed. Storage under the whole of the bed actually. And here's just probably the biggest bank of wardrobes that I've ever seen on a boat. Double wardrobe here. Single to start off with. And then another, another double one at the end. There's a locker either side of the bed with cupboards underneath. Stunning room, the measurements in here are 13 feet 6 inches long. Head height on the boat is 7 feet. I can hardly touch the roof myself. LED lighting throughout. There's one of four radiators and a heated towel rail on board. They're heated by a diesel fired Wabasto central heating system. And the bathroom's next. Stunning room. The floors in here and the kitchen are Italian granite. The shower itself is four and a half feet long by two and a half feet wide. Correction, four feet by two and a half feet. 
that sink is ceramic, heated towel rail. The loo itself is a cassette loo, it's an electric flush, porcelain, Dometic. Super luxury in here, it just oozes elegance, nice frosted glass doors all over the place. And behind here is a huge linen cupboard. The storage on the boat has been really well thought out actually. Down to the corridor towards the spare bedroom. Six feet three inches long, four feet six inches wide this bed. Storage underneath, cupboards over. Beautifully fitted out. The locker stroke cupboard there and another wardrobe behind the door here. Very good size. Current owner is actually a, an airline pilot, so the large television you see in here is actually part of a simulation machinery that has been using during lockdown. But anyway, there's a desk there, so this would make a perfect office if that's what you want, or just a spare bedroom. And the forward area of the boat is the galley stroke saloon. Massive in here, the saloon is nearly 12 feet long and the galley is 7 feet. Corian worktops. This work surface under here conceals the washing machine, a 12 volt fridge master freezer, and an integral 12 volt fridge. Italian granite on the floors I've mentioned. There's a combi microwave there, a double oven, eye level, good size cupboard underneath. And a huge galley area, there's a full burner gas hob with an extractor fan and light over. And lots and lots of storage. Here's one of those carousel cupboards that I favour. And the sinks over here, cupboards underneath. I think I mentioned all the lighting is LED. And it's just such a wonderful space. I love the, the layout of this boat. It's, it's very social, very homely. There's a tumble dryer here. The washing machine itself doesn't dry. Next to that is the air conditioning unit. Here's the media center. That's a Hisense 42 inch LED smart television with a home cinema system and surround sound. DVD player with that as well. And a free view box actually. In the corner is a more so squirrel multi fuel stove, recently serviced. The stereo in the corner, that's a Pioneer, there we go, Pioneer CD radio. Plenty of bookshelves and cupboards. Yeah, these sofas are reclining by the way. Not sofa beds as such, but they recline. Super comfortable. Onto the well deck, it's very good space this as well, nearly five feet long. Here's the gas locker, plenty of storage in here. And the water tank is under the well deck actually, 550 litres, stainless steel. And there's a fresh water filter on the galley tap. The filter on that has just been changed. It's another quick walk back through the boat. The um, Huge battery bank, five domestics, nearly 700 amp hours of domestic batteries. One starter, they were all new in 2018. Mentioned the inverter, three and a half kilowatts. There's a galvanic isolator on board. More navigation equipment you can throw a stick at, actually. She's ready to go. She's in such good condition. I sold a few, few boats for pilots, and they do tend to keep their boats very, very nicely. So it's with a modicum of regret that I'm leaving this boat. There's a full gallery of photographs, quite an extensive one on our website. A fully downloadable colour brochure with the specifications and the price. 
and this mooring I reiterate is available to the purchaser www.rugbyboats.co.uk